This is Liliko, one of Japan's top models and a true embodiment of Japanese beauty who is admired by all. Teenage girls aspire to be like her, and men are drawn to her body. But it turns out that she's had a whole body plastic surgery to remain at the top of the modeling industry. An inspector named Asada is talking to his assistant about Liliko. When his assistant claims that all high school girls aspire to be like Liliko, Asada responds that her skin tone and muscle movements don't match her bone structure. And while she may look stunning from the outside, she has been internally devoured by bugs, just like a fruit. Liliko is now at a press conference, where it's revealed that she will make her film debut soon in the coming days. She later enters her dressing room alongside her assistant Michiko and her makeup artist named Kinji. However, Liliko is a spoiled brat who frequently snaps at other people over trivial issues. She spits a mouthful of water at Michiko's face and humiliates her just because it's the wrong brand. Moments later, when her rich boyfriend named Nanbu shows up, the two begin making out in the dressing room. Her staff gets uncomfortable with this scene and they walk out of the room. Later that night, Liliko ends up sleeping with the producer hoping that it will convince the director to cast her in more movies. As she's mesmerized by her own reflection in the mirror, Liliko discovers that she has a black bruise on her forehead while she brushes her bangs. Kinji visits Hiroko Tada, who is the president of Liliko's talent agency, and informs her about Liliko's scars. But Hiroko simply informs him that the scar is a plastic surgery side effect and that most of Liliko's body is fake. She then gives him an 8 carat ruby ring and requests that he look after Liliko now that he's aware of her secret. After finishing the day's filming with her makeup covered, Liliko makes another surgery appointment at the clinic. But when she gets there, she sees other women who are also covered in bruises and screaming at the doctor to fix them. Liliko is scared upon seeing this, but she decides to proceed with the appointment anyways. On the other hand, Detective Asada and his co-workers are looking into a beauty clinic that's allegedly connected to a woman's suspicious death. Asada tells his co-worker that the victim's ex-husband works as a doctor at the same cosmetic surgery clinic where the organs, skin, bones, and muscles of women are allegedly being extracted. Additionally, if someone has plastic surgery at that clinic, they must take expensive medications for the rest of their lives, or else they can have severe side effects. Now, after the second surgery, Liliko retains her beauty, which enables her to grow in popularity and find success with her followers. Every magazine with her pictures sells at an absurdly high rate, and young girls aspire to be like her. Liliko even receives offers from Hollywood and eventually becomes everyone's favorite. While driving back home one evening, Liliko questions Michiko about why she doesn't wear makeup, to which Michiko replies that it doesn't matter since she's already aged, but Liliko hands her lipstick and asks her to wear it sometimes. She then warns Michiko, telling that it's like a drug, because the more you use it, the more you start craving it. Upon reaching home, Liliko wipes off her makeup and notices that her eyes and forehead have black bruises. But weirdly, she bursts out laughing and declares that if she loses her beauty, she will become unpopular and no one will ever remember her. Liliko leaves the room and asks Michiko if she's actually attractive, to which Michiko replies yes. She then kisses Michiko and forces her to satisfy her. The next day, Liliko's sister Chikako shows up to visit her, but Hiroko sends her away. When Liliko reaches her apartment that evening, she finds a letter from her sister informing her that she's in the same city and would like to meet. She goes to see Chikako the very next day, and the sisters are delighted to see each other again after such a long time. Chikako compliments her sister for her movie, but Liliko admits that acting isn't her thing and she's thinking about giving up. Then Liliko advises Chikako to make herself look better and offers to pay for the costs, but Chikako declines, claiming that she's not as strong as Liliko. While all this is going on, Detective Asada and her assistant learn something very suspicious about the clinic where Liliko has her surgeries. A deeper investigation reveals unexplained suicides and organ thefts in that establishment. Asada is now convinced that Liliko's unnatural beauty may hold the key to exposing an unregulated sector of questionable medical procedures. Liliko asks her boss Hiroko if she is sending money to her family, to which Hiroko responds yes. But when she says that her sister hasn't received any money, Hiroko accuses her of not believing her, while also claiming that she hasn't been able to send as much money as Liliko expected due to her high maintenance costs. Moments later, Hiroko introduces Liliko to a new model named Kotsua, who's just 18 years old. And before they know it, Kotsua and Liliko begin working together. But soon, Kotsua starts becoming more famous as a result of her natural beauty and friendly personality. She eventually replaces Liliko on numerous magazine covers and commercials. Now, Liliko finds herself in a desperate situation and starts taking various medications to calm herself. 
As if things weren't already bad enough, Liliko learns from a weekly magazine that her boyfriend Nanbu is engaged to a daughter of a politician. When she calls to confront him, Nanbu claims that their marriage is merely in agreement and that he will continue his relationship with Liliko. With Kotsua's rising popularity and her boyfriend's betrayal, Liliko is psychologically and physically cornered, which causes her to gradually develop a drug addiction. Her ability to think normally is completely gone and her behavior has become increasingly extreme. One evening, Liliko goes to Michiko's house and sees her boyfriend named Shin. She is aroused to see him and begins making out with him right away. Shin appears to have a crush on her as well, so he goes along with it. Eventually, the two become intimate with each other, as Michiko cries in the corner watching everything that's going on. The next day, Liliko invites Michiko and Shin to her home and gives them a task. The job is to throw sulfuric acid on Nanbu's future wife to destroy her face. Frightened by Liliko, the two also consent to carry out the plan. But Liliko is still unsatisfied and forces Michiko and Shin to become intimate in front of her in order to push them to rock bottom. Kenji observes a few scars on Liliko's back but says nothing. He informs Hiroko that Liliko has numerous scars on her body and that her skin appears to be very old and lacks elasticity. Hearing this, Hiroko realizes that this might be the end of Liliko. The same night, Liliko meets Nanbu in a hotel and asks about his future wife. But Nanbu tells her to forget that and says that he only loves Liliko. He also admits that he had no interest in politics and preferred to pursue careers as an etymologist, musician, or sailor. After hearing this, Liliko remarks that instead of giving up and feeling sorry for himself, he should have at least given it a try. After a string of suicides among patients at the plastic surgery clinic, Asada realizes that now is the time to take action and decides to meet Liliko. The next day, he approaches her and requests that she appear in court as a witness because the beauty clinic she visits is illegally stealing and selling organs. However, Liliko refuses to help him and insists that she hasn't had any cosmetic surgery. Asada then informs her that he's aware of the acid attack on a politician's daughter and threatens to reveal it if she doesn't cooperate. When he shows Liliko a photo of what she used to look like, she becomes terrified and walks away. Liliko arrives home and tears up in front of her old photos and documents. Her fear that someone will discover her secret causes her to increase her medication even more. And on top of that, Liliko's body begins to suffer as a result of the drugs. She becomes depressed to the point where she begins to hallucinate at work. With nothing going right in her life, Liliko starts resenting Kotsua more and more, who is successful in comparison to herself, and orders Michiko to slash Kotsua's face. One day, Liliko arrives at a talk show and goes to the bathroom to inject before the program starts. But during the show, the drugs begin to affect her and she begins to see butterflies, which causes her to become extremely agitated. She completely loses control and smashes the birthday cake on the floor before collapsing unconscious. On the other hand, Michiko approaches Kotsua, who is filming at an amusement park, and tries to attack her with a knife. Kotsua understands what Michiko intends to do and says that all the models will fade away eventually and asks her to go ahead, but Michiko becomes emotional and decides to abandon the plan. Later that night, Liliko begins to experience headaches and hallucinations, and she's unable to work properly. When she realizes Michiko did not harm Kotsua, she slaps her and begins to assault her. Afterward, she can't help but run out into the rain, and even then, memories of her past flash through her mind. While cleaning up the house, Michiko accidentally discovers Liliko's pre-plastic surgery photos and documents, as well as the clinic's illegal activities. Out of spite and vengeance, she sends every piece of information about Liliko's dirty secrets to tabloid magazines everywhere. The news quickly spreads, causing problems not only for Liliko, but also for her modeling agency and surgery clinic. Soon, everyone begins to mock Liliko, calling her a fake for her actions against her assistant, sabotage against Kotsua, and covering up what she used to look like beneath her fake body. Her scars begin to spread more and more, and life becomes full of distress. Meanwhile, Asada is suspected of leaking information about the surgery clinic, and as a result, he's suspended from his work. A few days later, Hiroko organizes a press conference for Liliko to address the current controversy and asks her to deliver a speech written by her lawyer. Her makeup artist then conceals her scars and gets her ready for the stage. Now, at the press conference, Liliko utters, I'll show them what they want to see, and then stabs herself in front of everyone. On the other hand, Detective Asada and his assistant are approached by a girl while crossing the street. She hands him a card with her address on it and asks him to visit her if he likes. Afterward, when Asada's assistant asks about the girl, he responds that it's none other than Chikako, 
who appears to have undergone plastic surgery just like her sister. He adds that the trial against the clinic is still ongoing and that 126 patients have filed lawsuits, nine of whom committed suicide while Liliko is still missing. Meanwhile, we see Kotsua has recently wrapped up filming abroad and is still very famous. She's invited to the after party, where she goes to a club with her co-workers. Once there, she spots a female who looks just like Michiko. After following the girl, Kotsua finds a room with a girl sitting in front of a mirror. And when the girl turns around, it's Liliko, who is smiling whilst covering her left eye with an eye patch. And if you stayed till the end, watch this video now.